Hey everybody, Mary and the Barbarian here. We got a great Murphy McNeil uh, shave for you today. This soap sample was sent to me by the Razor Company um, for use, but Murphy McNeil does have it cheaper because they lowered the prices. Um, so I will link Murphy and McNeil in the description below for anybody that's interested. Now on to that, Marrow of Claire. Guys, I think this is still in the uh, Kodiak base because when I looked on Murphy and McNeil, Kodiak was the only thing that was left. So I'll put the ingredient list up for Kodiak. Um, bear tallow, as David likes to call it, the teddy bear base. Um, that's what's available right now. And I'll put up the scent notes. We did use the Samogue Black Horse Hair. Um, whipped it up in the Captain's Choice Aquamarine. And I'm gonna tell you guys, the scent, a little kind of powdery floral, maybe a little bit of citrus in there. And then it's just kind of airy. There might be some musk, but it's really nice scent. And honestly, if it's still available, and Kodiak, that means this wasn't a popular release and a lot of people didn't buy it. This is a good scent, guys. Powdery might be rose, but then there's something else that's kind of a greenish. I don't know. Something a little green. Um, it's nice, though. Very nice. I'm going to add in just a little bit more water right through here. There we go. We're going to use the leaf. Third use on this blade, and I do believe it's a leaf blade. If it doesn't feel good, I will grab another half a DE I've got snapped in here somewhere. But I've never tried to see how far I can use a half a DE blade. I came home, put some mini corn dogs in the air fryer, ate those bad boys. Passed out on the couch. I said, oh man, I gotta get up, I gotta shower. So I hadn't showered from work. Picked up the shave on lunch. I'm like, yeah, that'll work. So when I woke up, take a shower, I'm like, we are going to fit this in. Yeah, there's like a greener, I don't know what that is. I've smelled it in some soaps recently. I probably have to go back and look. Try to pinpoint what note I'm picking up, but it's nice. Very nice. We're going to try to go against the grain and see how that feels. Blade's definitely on its way out. It's not tuggy, but this doesn't feel as super smooth as it normally does in the thorn. Look at that lather. Beauteous lather, man. Kodiak. It's got to be Kodiak base, unless it was Aeon base that uh, Jason has. But I know the first batch is in Kodiak, and I do believe he makes Kodiak available to the vendors. Little in through there. Yeah, I'm not going to replace it now that we're almost through the shave. I wouldn't. Third use on a half a DE is not the way to go. Toss it after two and be done with it. You know those treat black beauties are one and done for me? I wonder...
how those would be. I could technically get more uses out of those black beauties if I could snap them in half. Hmm. I know some people really like them. They're smooth first go around, but after that they tend to be rough, toothy, for lack of a better term. See how the neck feels? You know what? We're not even going to do the neck. You know what? I've still got the TRC DE down here. We will go for the neck again, but I don't want to run that blade across my neck one more time. We'll even pull it out before we rinse up, just so I don't forget. Mm-hmm. A lot better feeling. That's the difference right there, guys. Lee was right. Never push it three. It's not worth it on a half a DE. Um, yeah. Felt a little rough coming this way and a little rough going that way. Could have been technique, but I also know we were at the end of that blade technically. Had some lather on it, so we're going to loosen it up, take it out. Just let's take it off on camera. But no, this was not a leaf. This was, ooh, this was a super iridium. It shouldn't have been feeling that way after three, right? It felt a little rough. Didn't like it. On the neck, shall I say. And I think I've got seven o'clocks of this TRC over here. I'm sorry, we're just talking, speeding along, doing our thing. All right, guys, now I can dry my hands, tell y'all you, you know the drill. We're going to rinse up. We'll be right back. Now I'm going to go click. All right, everybody, we are back. I had to look it up, guys. So I think I'm smelling Lily of the Valley. Is that like kind of brighter green that I'm smelling with the floral? Um, it's got to be it. Um, Meryl Leclerc, great scent. So these are cool in these little mini tubs, but I will tell you that it's easier to get scent strength and smell what it smells like off the tub with those little bags than it is this. I have to wait until I smear it across the bottom of the bowl and then smell it. At least for me. <sighs> Zenith horsehair. We did uh, comb it out. You got to comb those out after each use, guys, or they will knot up and then you'll get this like little swirl hole tornado in the middle. Um, I had the storm. Whiskey Bar by Suavecito doesn't smell anything like this, but guys, I'm not going to think about much of it. I'm not even going to try to get it done. Doing a white label soap or even meet up stuff until my car is in the shop and paid for. Got things going, but I'm not going to stress or think about any of the other stuff until the end of February. So that's just where we are. But this is the kind of splash I want to do. I want to do something simple. Alcohol, water, maybe some glycerin, and fragrance, um, and menthol, if I so think that splash needs menthol. Alright guys, that's it. Did I leave anything out? I enjoyed the leaf thorn. We enjoyed Marrow of Claire. I highly recommend that scent. There was something just, it's definitely like a springtime scent, if I was going to label it something. It makes me think of spring when I was smelling it. Um, and that's it guys. If you've made it this far, consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and hit that noti bell. We will catch you next shave.